Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with episode number 278 of Ask Dave. And today, this is a reference station video. We're going to talk about power distribution system. I have a West Mountain Radio Rig Runner, which um, has 12 outlets on it for 12 volts, and I've had that for quite some time. I've never even come close to filling up all 12 of those. So I picked uh, one for us today. It's the Rig Runner. And it is this one right here. This box is way too big for it. I must they, they must use the same box for everyone. It's a Rig Runner 4006U. And it has the input jack and then six output. So we'll use one for the 7300, one for the VHS slash UHF radio. And that leaves us four for other things, one of which we're going to use right away. It's a light the, uh, for the power meter, SWR meter, that's at the uh, output of the amplifier here. And that leaves uh, room for other things. If I were leaving the supply on all the time, I could put the clock on it, but I'm not. So I'm going to leave the clock over on the solar, which is on uh, all the time. So let's take a look at the unboxing and uh, some pictures. There's not that much to this. It's uh, just a small unit. It's about $108 at uh, DX Engineering and uh, will serve you well. Now, I realize $108 is $108. Okay, if you've got a better way of distributing power in your station, use it. This is a very nice, neat, convenient, fused, safe way of doing that. And yes, I put it in and I grounded it to my station ground. So, let's take a look. The Rig Runner comes in a pretty good sized box. And this is the Rig Runner 4006U. Okay. And if we open it up, we find it's a really big box because if you take the uh, plastic out, it's just this right here. And it comes with a sort of instruction manual on the thing. It also comes with some rubber feet if you're going to uh, just let the thing uh, sit, you know, behind your rig or something like that. And it contains... Uh, um, some instructions here, which you should read. Uh, it's got the warranty and things like that. We're, we're not going to use the rubber feet because uh, we're going to actually mount this using the mounting holes. Now, uh, I thought it would be nice to see what's actually inside of this, so we'll do that. Now, you should not do this with yours because you could void the warranty in the process of doing this. But it'd be nice to see how they're made and what's in them. It's more than just uh, a bunch of uh, outlets in parallel. Don't. Really tight. Okay. Let's take the... Uh, oh, the thing is actually attached to the back panel. And there it is. Okay. Uh, what we've got inside now, what I want to find out is if the ground on this thing is connected to the case. One of the easiest ways to do that, I think, would be with a meter. So let's get a meter. On resistance 200. Okay, we check it by shorting the leads together. It's working. So we're going to. Here is a screw. Here is a negative, and that is connected to that screw. Okay, so let's check now by going in here. The problem is the paint. So I'm going to check. Here and yes, it is. It is grounded to the case. So we will uh, ground it through one of these holes when we we put the thing on. Now let's just take a look at it. Here we've got um, five volt 
outlets here. These are for charging your iPhone or your iPad. Uh, four amps between the two. And this is a little regulator and some circuitry and some monitor circuitry that does that up in here. Okay, so it's a fairly sophisticated little unit. Um, it's designed so that, um, uh, well, let's put it on right side up. Okay, this right here just fits over those fuses and comes back down. So these are for charging. Um, it's not absolutely level, but close enough. So we're going to put the cover back on and then we're going to talk about actually using the thing. Now why did I pick this one? I've shown my own station a number of times and my own station has a great big rig runner. It has the 12 on it. I've never used all of the um, never used all of the outlets so um, we'll, we'll tighten them after we get them all started um, I've never used all the outlets so I still think that you should have something like this in your um, station so um, the this is part of the reference station. It is a power distribution system. We're going to connect the output of the power supply, our Samlex SE31235M, which goes up to 35 watts. And this thing will handle up to 40 watts, I'm sorry, 40 amps input. And then uh, we can attach to this our main rig the UHF VHF uh, rig and any other uh, station items that require 12 volts like for example if you have a receive only antenna with a preamp in it you want to do that connect that up connect a clock, whatever you might want to connect. Okay, so we've got it all back here. Now let's examine what we've got. We've got 40 amps. This is the input. We're going to connect the output of the power supply to this. Then the next thing we're going to connect, these are each 25 amp. They could be up to 40, but up to, it's 40 total, but 25 and 25, we're going to connect the HF rig here, the VHF UHF rig here. Okay, now I have um, a little part of the watt meter has a little lamp in it um, so I can put that in say here and change that to a one amp fuse if I wanted to okay and the idea being that this should give you something also um, you can charge your phone or your iPad or whatever from from these right here. It's 4 amps uh, total, which is enough for a couple iPads really actually, but your phone, your phone, your iPad, your tablet, whatever it may be. Okay, so here we are. Now we're going to first mount this, and I've got a place to mount it that's out of sight but close, so uh, we will uh, know it's there, okay? Putting this thing up here with some uh, screws. This is on the back. So it's very solidly mounted and it doesn't move around on us. Okay, now, here's the reference station, and there's the big power supply for it, and it's just connected directly to the power supply. It's the only thing that is. So, we're going to get this 
out like this and get some more length out like that okay and we'll plug this in down here right there now the VHF rig which is this one right here comes way over here so we'll pull that cable out these cables get so tangled up when you put new cables in that uh, let's see so this one will go right here there okay and then this has got a little okay this is the old one and we're going to take this one out of the solar and put it in over here okay we've got three in now we'll connect the power supply over to there all right all right there we are so for the reference station here we've added one more device and that is the power distribution unit that will take power from the power supply and make it available to more than one item in this case both HF and VHF plus any other miscellaneous items that we may have in our station that need 12 volts so there you go please stay safe follow the uh, guidance from your local health department and until next time 73